Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do my first test on this power pot that I got the other day. I showed you the unboxing, but I'm going to do a test on it today where I'm going to try it on the Mojo pot stand using a mini Trangia burner. Uh, I've done many boil tests with this, and you know, the times come out about four, five, six minutes depending. But I think with this pot, using it for boiling water probably won't be its prime thing. It's made for, this is the thermal generator pot that generates electricity depending on the delta T between the flame or whatever burning surface uh, heat provider you have and cold on the inside. So something like this would work great in the winter if you were able to use ice cold water or water with ice in it or snow you'd have a bigger delta oh, delta sorry jeez uh, not it's a delta T but what I mean is a change in temperature um, delta T means change in temperature so the difference between the temperature on this side and the temperature on this side is a delta T I'm sorry for that uh, so like like I was saying uh, in the winter this would probably work a whole lot better because you'd have some sort of flame on the bottom and something really cold on the inside but for today I just want to see how bad this is just on boiling two cups of water and uh, that it generates the electricity so let me go get my water prepped and I'll be right back alright I've got two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees I've got the uh, mini Trangia already burning let's put that on there like so start the timer now this time I'm using instead of using the uh, big cup that comes with this for a lid I'm just using aluminum foil the other thing is like your standard Boy Scout pot this lid also fits on this pretty well but for this time I just thought maybe I'd use the aluminum foil okay all we have to do now is just hook up the cable that comes with it one end is a USB port the other end is the uh, two wires a little bit wider a little bit narrower so that you can only put it on one way just like so and you look at the thing see the light there is turned green so that means it's already generating electricity unlike the bio light this would be sitting here for maybe two minutes to generate electricity so let's test this I still have the little Christmas light that I used I thought this would be a handy little thing for if you're out on the trail you know to generate, ele generate electricity for something like this so let's just plug it in and there you go it lights Oh, I'm missing a light here. So that works. Let's try the LED light that they sent with it. This is a bar of five LEDs on it on a bendable uh, arm thing. So let's see what happens with this. This could be handy. Wow, pretty nice. Let's see what happens when I turn out the lights. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. To me, this is very well lit. I have a larger LED light here somewhere I'll try sometime. But this would be nice. Saying, like I said, I hope this is showing up. You can see the timer there. You can read everything. This would be nice in your hammock or whatever to have your breakfast warming up and be able to, or even your evening meal or whatever before you hit the rack and be able to have a light so that you could read and see things now this is nice this cable is kinda nice remember on the bio light the camp stove I had to make an extension cord get an extension cord to put in there because I didn't like messing around right at the pot this has its built-in uh, cord so nice let's see here I think I'll stick this light back on 
and just leave it run in the background. A couple of other things, like so. Capacity of the pot. Um, let's go with weights first. I won't give it to you in grams because this isn't something that a gram weenie would carry. The whole set with the cable weighs about 17 and three quarter ounces, about a pound and an ounce for the whole set. Just the pot weighs about 12 ounces. Just the lid weighs about 3.64 ounces. Lid makes a nice bowl. Like I said before, this is just for heating up water. It's uh, hard anodized aluminum, both pieces. I think I've seen this set somewhere else. But uh, I would just boil water in the lower part, and if you wanted any food to heat up or whatever, you'd do it in this. As far as capacity, the pot holds, depending on how high you go up with it, but I was able to put five cups in here and still had some space that it didn't hit the top. And with the cup, about two and a half cups in here. So not bad capacity. A little much for one person, definitely too much for a gram weenie. But uh, if you're going car camping or cabin camping or something, this would be really nice. So what I'm going to do here is just quit. It's already up to 127 degrees in about four minutes, so it's not doing too bad. But let me cut here, and I'll be back when this is to a boil. Okay, there we have 210, although it sounds like it's boiling. 211, yeah, it's boiling. 212 and 825, 8 minutes, 25 seconds, but... I don't know, something with the thermometer. Okay, let me shut this off. See how long we keep getting some electricity here. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 8 minutes and 25 seconds, although it might have been about 7 or 8 seconds faster than that because I could hear the water boiling. Okay. So not bad. I really expected, I thought it would be uh, much slower than that for boiling water. So that's quite surprising. Let's see, I think I moved the thermometer here. There you go. Okay, the flame's out. Still generating electricity. DC electricity. Now there were a couple of questions. I guess I confused people with some stuff. I bought this pot. The uh, power pot people didn't give it to me. I actually bought this stuff. I guess something I said in about thanking them for it kind of threw people for a loop. Another thing some people asked is, uh, will this hurt my equipment? Is it regulated or whatnot, the power coming out of this? And yes, it is. See, now, that just shut off now. So there's not enough heat difference here between the bottom and the top to keep this powered up. Inside this little box is a voltage regulator that it only allows current to come through here if it's at the right voltage, the 5 volts. So it shouldn't, now don't hold me to this, it shouldn't hurt any kind of equipment because it'll either be on or it'll be off just like it is here now. See the green lights off? So it means nothing's coming out and you can see that the tree's not lit anymore. Excuse me. Okay, so that's my first little test with this. I've got some more planned. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with this on the folding box stove. I think that'll be pretty good as far as uh, using a wood stove with this thing. But that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 8 minutes and 25 seconds. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.